A very good afternoon to all of you. I'm Dr. Kumar Parag. Today I will be discussing chapter 11 from Beehive, If I Were You. Now, uh, before starting or discussing the chapter, let me give you a brief introduction about the, uh, the, drama, uh, the author, the playwright, uh, because this is a drama. So it was written by Douglas James and he was a British colonial administrator and he was a governor of uh, North uh, Borneo and Sierra Leone. I have given this example, I am giving you the introduction, the reason because, so that you can have a better understand, understanding of the play. Now this is a one act play. So what is a one act play? Is? One act play is there that not many acts are there, only single act is there. So that can be completed in 20, 25 or 30 minutes. The sub genre of this uh, one act play is 10 minutes play, which is now very popular among the audience, the reason because the people do not have much time. Now, coming to the chapter, there are only two characters in this play. One is Gerard and the other one is the intruder. We do not know the name in this, uh, the name of the intruder. So it is everywhere, it is the intruder written and the whole of the uh, drama revolves around these two characters only. It is not that any other character is there in it or the galaxy of characters are there in it. They are only two characters. Now, one thing uh, I have given in note that what I have taken uh, lines from the chapter and they are in italics so it, so that you can, you can have a better understanding. Now, the first thing it is there that uh, when you are going to start reading this particular chapter or uh, this particular drama, the one act play for example, here you are going to be finding that Gerard is of medium height and he is well cultured. So why it is there, it is there in it? This description you are going to get it later. So the play starts with the description of the small cottage uh, and the reason the small cottage is given in elaborately, uh, elaborately discussed or it has been elaborately said about the cottage the reason because so that you can better you can have a better understanding of the cottage because the play when you are reading this particular play in your mind the pictorial view can be formed of it that where this play and which is the place what type of place it is so that's why everything is given in detail and minutely for example there is an entrance back right which may be cut uh, which may be curtained another door to the left must be a practical door the furniture is simple consisting of small table towards the left a chair or two and a uh, and a divan rather upstage on the right on the uh, on the table is a telephone now through this description it is not the description of the furnitures and the things which are there and what uh, what type of entrance it has it also shows that the uh, that gerard is from a middle class family he is not from a very top class family he is from a middle class family so that is what is shown because they are simple the furniture is simple here it means that when we do talk about furniture and simple in particular here it means that he has no hi-fi things in him and he is not a very rich kind of a person or he is very uh, from a very affluent class he is from a middle class a normal person who is living normally so that uh, whatever the things he wants to have in his house so those things are described in it so after this, you are going to uh, read that Gerard was packing the bag to go out. He's a playwright. Now Gerard was almost was uh, was packing and he was uh, he was uh, try, uh, he was going out for uh, some work or to uh, do some uh, to some place. And this intro intruder, the same of uh, unnamed person of same build enters the house. Now here. When you are comparing both the characters, they are of same physique, uh, the same physicality, they have same height and they are equally strong. Means that uh, why it is necessary when you are going to be reading at the end, when you are going to come, uh, when you are going to come to the end of this particular ch uh, chapter, you are going to understand that. And here the author, uh, the, sorry, the dramatist has uh, uh, stressed on it on their build and uh, what type of physicality they have the uh, the play writer has stressed on it now if you are going to read the particular the, these are some of the lines are there 
this is all very melodramatic gerard says not very original perhaps now he's a play writer now it is like a simple uh, uh, an uninvited person is coming to his house and to his cottage or house whatever you like to say so it is there because the cottages are small they are not that big the houses are big in comparison to cottage so he is living in a cottage so it this is very uh, melodramatic not very original means that he was expecting that something else uh, happening for example that he is going to force his uh, way inside or something else so that what is stressing on now if you are going to read about the intruder trying to be calm the intruder is nervous why because he doesn't know that when he is going to because he is an uninvited person and when he is going to force himself in he doesn't know what will be the end result or what will be the uh, repercussion so that's why he is trying to be calm so from these lines you are going to make it that he is a but he is full of nervousness when he enters uh, gerard's co uh, cottage after that into the thanks a lot you will soon stop being smart i will make you crawl i want to know a few things see now from the very beginning if you are going to read this particular chapter you are uh, you are going to find that the intruder tries uh, had this back in his mind that he has to overpower the owner of the cottage no matter what type of person he is uh, fortunately for uh, intruder also he was of the same build but in his mind he is saying that uh i want to uh, the uh, i want to over, uh, in his mind it is there that he wants to over uh, overpower this particular person that's why he says that i make you crawl i want to know a few things now he also wanted to know some things about uh, gerard also that is going to come later now uh intruder likes to know about gerard's background now why he wants to know about gerard's background that mystery is going to be solved in the end now gerard in a way he says he uh, he started st uh, telling the story from the beginning of his uh, when he was a child at last a sympathetic audience i tell you the story of my life how as a child i was stolen by the gypsies and why at the age of 32 i find myself um, uh, i find myself in my lonely essex cottage how now if you see the first line of this particular drama or this one uh, at last a sympathetic audience means that way back in the mind of giraffe he has a regret or he feels sorry for uh, sorry of his childhood because he was a loner and he was from the be uh, beginning of his life he was uh, stolen by the gypsies now who are the gypsies are there now basically these gypsies the uh, gypsies are the people who don't have their permanent home they roam around cities uh, and they always uh, and they don't have a permanent house or a home and they live outside the cities and they they live outside the cities for a few years and then they uh, go to some another city now these gypsies are very common in romania uh, the Rom uh, the romanians in india we call them for example if you uh, just for your information we call them banjaras so uh, these are the people are there who live outside the city and they do not have they do not mingle with the people uh, uh, of the city and they have their own group as uh, when we do talk about gypsies now he was stolen by the gypsies now he has a regret that he was not able to see his uh, biological parents or he was not born and brought up by his biological parents and because like the gypsies who are living outside the a city he have, he has also developed the same habit that at the age of 32 i find myself in my lonely essex cottage that this cottage is also outside the city is not uh, or near the city you may say but not inside the city so that's why he is saying that at the age of 32 i find myself lonely because no neighbors are there from the if you are going to read this particular drama you are going to be find that no that he is a loner and he uh, he wants to mingle with the person but unable to do so because of his background because he was born in such a born and brought up in uh, sorry brought up in such a way that 
जेराड इज जेराड इज इज ऑलवेज आउटसाइड ही इज नॉट एबल टू टू हैव अ कॉन्टैक्ट विद द सिटी पीपल सो दैट इज दैट इज देयर एंड दैट्स वाई ही यूजेज द टर्म सिंपथेटिक ऑडियंस द सिंपथेटिक ऑडियंस मीन्स डैट एट लीस्ट अ पर्सन ही थॉट दैट दिस इंट्रूडर इज अ गुड पर्सन एंड इज गोइंग टू लिसन अबाउट हिज बैकग्राउंड और फ्रॉम हाउ ही वॉज बॉर्न हाउ ही वॉज ब्रॉट अप सो दैट्स वाई ही सेज जेराड सेज लाइक दिस नाउ the intruder keep it to yourself and just answer my questions you live here alone well do you and if i don't answer threatening tone is there now intruder is not interested that whether he was stolen from the gypsies whether he was uh, stolen by the uh, or he what type of uh, how he was brought up he was only interested that whether he is go he is living here alone or not why it is there the mystery again is going to be solved when you are, i will not be telling it right now at the end i am going to tell you you are going to understand so that and a sense of excitement is there when you read this particular chapter so when we do talk about this uh, this one he is only interested that who are the other people living with him where, uh, in the cottage or how many people are visiting him who are his friends so he was more interested in that so and gerard understood and he says that if i do not answer if i don't answer here he tries to say that he wants that uh, he should understand that whether he has any kind of uh, uh, liberties that uh, he can answer the question or not then the intruder is threatening gerard and uh, he is threatening that he is compelling gerard to answer when you are going to read the particular drama now gerard uh, on other way tries to investigate he is not a detective but he is a intruder is an uninvited person so for that reason he is uh, uh, he is uh, trying to be investigative that are you american or that is merely a, merely a clever imitation so here when he is saying are you american because the reason because the accent the speaking english is the same but the british accent of speaking of english is different and the american accent is different so that's why he is trying to uh, to inquire that he is british who is acting like an american or he is actually an uh, uh, an american american now intruder listen this guns no toy i can hurt you with without killing you and still get my answers now the intruder doesn't want to kill at that time because he doesn't know the full background uh, full background that who is living there so he wants to hurt it by shooting it on his arm or uh, on his leg so uh, that's why he is saying that it is not a toy and i can hurt you without killing you it's the reason because he is saying that uh, he is going to get, uh, gerard is going to get a painful death if he is not going to answer the questions given by uh, asked by intruder gerard of course if you you put it like that i will be glad to assist you i do possess a car and it's in the garage round the corner now gerard very well understands that uh, inside the house or uh, and he is a wise person and he is pursuing the intruder that he should come with him in his uh, car and uh, which is in the uh, which is in the garage and they they can go outside uh, to a lonely place where they can discuss further now intruder also likes the idea that's better do people often come out here again he is coming to his basic question that how many people are coming whom he is meeting how many friends he have and what type of person he is so that is he is asking gerard is saying very rarely surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me there is a baker and the green gro uh, grocer of course and then there is a milkman quite charming but no one so interesting as yourself now very rarely for example the gerard is saying that from the description of gerard we can make out that he is he, he is a single person he may be a bachelor or a divorcee we do not know because the description of uh, we only have a description of gerard is that he is a 32 year person who is a 32 year old person who is living in uh, in a cottage out uh, from outside the city so that is there so in the whole of the uh, this drama we do not get any glimpses that for example that whether gerard is a married per person a loner or his family is out or something like that we do not get any idea 
from this description we can make make it out that he is a single he is a he is a single and he is hardly 32 uh, 32 years old and he is unmarried so very rarely uh, surprising few people take the trouble to visit me that very well shows that gerard doesn't have many friends he is a friendless kind of a person and very few people means that in month or uh, two months any single person is there the only persons who are visiting him weekly or uh, are the people who are the uh, green grocer or the milkman or those people uh, milkman may be come uh, uh, may be coming every day so the uh, those things uh, he uh, those people no uh, gerard other than that he doesn't have many people to uh, visiting his cottage now gerard tries uh, tries to know about the intruder just out of uh, curiosity now he knew that intruder is a criminal and out of curiosity he wants to know that what is his special uh, speciality so he is a jewel robbery that intruder himself accepts and intruder also says that so are the cops i can retire here nicely for a little while now comes the mystery unfolds that why he is asking uh, the mystery is solved rather that uh, why he has chosen gerard or this particular cottage the reason because he wants that if he is going to live outside the city nobody is going to recognize him now since gerard is a loner so he can retire here nicely by killing gerard and he may pose himself as gerard so that's why so are the cops i can retire here nicely for a little while now for a little while means that he doesn't want to go to prison he wants to have a life so that he can live there nobody can recognize him all the basic needs is getting fulfilled and he he has enough money to take care of it so that's why intruder is uh, is saying that he wants this place so that uh, so that he can live there now gerard you mean to live with me a triple sudden isn't it you have uh, you have not been invited now gerard was thinking some other way that the uh, thinking that the intruder wants to live with him and uh, he thought that uh, he is a person okay he is a criminal so he is going to be li living with him so that's what uh, gerard was thinking but intruder has something other in mind he wanted to kill gerard and he wanted to pose as gerard in front of the outer world now this is the most important part is there because he wanted to uh, kill him so that he can uh, take the uh the position of gerard and he can pose himself as gerard because nobody can recognize it now remember this particular drama was written way back in 50s of uh, 40s for example and then there this electronic uh identification these things are, were not there so don't get confused and it was written way back because uh way, way during the colonial times uh, and it was very easy to force the document and pose somebody else so that is there when you are going to read this particular drama now intruder ye i have i will be sorry to do it i have taken a fancy to you but it's just uh, got to be done now intruder was adamant the intruder was adamant that i have to kill this person because uh, after killing this particular person then only i can survive so that is the thing you are going to find it that he was he has mentally made up his mind to kill gerard and he can so that he can take his place and at the same time he can pose as G gerard and can live maybe for some time he has uh, he is telling that for some time i want to live he wants to live maybe in his mind it was there that he wants to live all his life there posing as gerard now In intruder also accepts that he has already committed a mur murder for example he has shot a cop now here it is for him for the intruder when you are going to read this particular drama you are going to be finding that for him murder is nothing new and he knows very well for killing a single person then also he will be hanged for killing two person also he will be hanged so he says uh, he has a thinking in mind that Uh, till uh, if i can avoid uh, the cops for some time so what's wrong in it i'm already a murderer so uh, if i will be doing uh, another murder so then also the same prison and the same punishment is going to be there so that's why he uh, he has this thing in mind and he wants to kill gerard now again 
Intruder says, these are from the lines from the drama. I have got freedom to gain. As for myself, I am a poor hunted rat. As Vincent Charles Gerard, I am free to go places and do nothing. I can eat well and sleep and without having to be ready to beat it at the, at the sight of a cop. Now, Intruder is saying these, these things because he is fed up of running from one place to another. Because he doesn't have any place, permanent place to live and he wants to be unrecognized. Uh, that's why he is, uh, give, uh, uh, he is saying this, I have got freedom to gain. Because he is already a robber, he has enough money but he is not able to spend those particular uh, uh, money of uh, sorry the, uh, he is unable to uh, spend the money so for that reason he is say, uh, saying that he wants to be pose uh, he wants to pose as Charles Gerard and he can go around and he doesn't want to go to the city also he wants to go go around the cottage or the lonely places and he can eat and sleep uh, in a quiet manner now uh, Gerard says uh, you are not particularly decorative. Decorative, he is saying that when you have the money and those uh, and you have the luxury, so you are not going to the city. So that's why he is using the word decorative. Now, intruder like uh, Gerard wants to have a simple life, so uh, where he can uh, settle down. Intruder then says, no, well, that goes for you too. I have only got to wear specs and I will be enough like you to get away with it. Now, Intruder is confident that since they both have the same build, they have the same physicality. So for that reason, it, uh, it will be easier for the Intruder, for example, to uh, pose like Gerard. And uh, Gerard asks, what about the clothes? They uh, they uh, they will let you down if you are not careful, intruder. That's be all right. Your uh, yours will fit me fine. Now these line very well shows in the why the uh, why the dramatist in the beginning has given uh, has described the physicality of both the characters. Both are of same built. Both are of same height. Both have uh, the same uh, uh, the shoulders, or uh, means that the size of the shoulders or, or the chest is the same. So the physicality is de described in particular, and now you can understand that why the uh, the dramatist was more interested to describe the physicality of both the characters. Now, Gerard. Your idea is to elude the police by killing me and taking on my identity. Intruder says, I, yes, I like the idea. Now, here Gerard now comes to this uh, in his mind. He is uh, now confirming himself that, okay, that uh, he wants to kill me. He wants to take my identity and that's why he is here. Now, he has a and intruder further explains. He further explains that why he has chosen Gerard. Because he saw uh, when he was in Ellsbury, he saw two people were talking about Gerard and they called they called him a mystery man because Gerard was a friendless person. Not many people uh, were there to uh, where uh, um, not many people uh, were his friends or it is uh, it is there that he doesn't he gerard is a loner he doesn't like uh, many people in his uh, uh, in his home or in his life so for the people also is a mysterious person so many people do not know who gerard is so and this when two persons were talking about gerard he was standing and listening and at that time he made his mind to kill gerard and to uh, to pose like gerard now gerard again says for God's sake, clear that muddled head of yourself and let's go. Come with me in the car and you have still uh, got your gun. Now, Gerard now very well is now sure that he will be killed by the intruder. Now, to save himself maybe, that's why he had made his plan. Uh, he has made a uh, plan in his mind that he should take him to, in his car. And why the intruder is going with him? The intruder is going with him because he is going to take the car to a lonely place where he is going to kill Gerard and then he is going to even he is going to throw the dead body in the forest or in a in an area where where nobody goes. So it is easier because if the intruder 
kills him inside his uh, cottage then he has to then the blood is going to come out and other things are going to be there and then he has to wipe it out so for that reason intruder is also interested to go with gerard in his car or uh, it is there that he wants that he uh, uh, he may throw the uh, car from a hilltop uh, with the dead body of of gerard that uh, intruder might be thinking but gerard has something other in mind that how to save himself that you are going to get uh, uh, in the next slide now gerard says they uh, then don't waste time and goes and picks up the hat and bag now here gerard takes his uh, things right now enough is enough i know very well what the intruder wants what is the in the background of the intruder i do not want to know uh, more uh, more uh, anything else so he says that i should not waste time and he picks up his hat and bag now you can very well see this is a picture from the chapter itself in the beehive uh, this uh, in that one you can very uh, well see that when gerard and intruder were walking he suddenly pushed uh, the intruder inside the cupboard his revolver fell down or the gun fell down and he tried to forcefully close the cupboard so that he can overpower him now here you may also find gerard that he uh, gerard uh, that he has enough force and power to overpower this particular intruder now again the first line is coming into uh, uh, again the first line of the drama is there that he uh, both are of same built and height now here that very well matters now the uh, the dramatist for a, uh, for example wanted to put them equally they, he doesn't want that gerard should be a tall person and the intruder should be a uh, uh, of short of height or the uh, intruder is uh, physically much more powerful than gerard so it was nothing like that both were put equally both have equal height both have equal physicality both have equal strength so that is there but the only difference was there that gerard in particular had better thinking or having more ideas and he was a wise man so that was a difference between gerard and intruder because we do not know the educational background of the intruder that how much he studied or whether he has uh, he has not even completed school so we do not know anything but gerard has better understanding of life that how to save himself wisely why he was uh, why he was telling the intruder to come with him the reason because so that both will be walking and suddenly he is going to attack the intruder gerard is going to attack the intruder and can overpower him and he knew that what he has to do he has already made up his mind that like this i am going to uh, overpower the intruder and i am going to push him inside the cupboard and going to lock it uh, lock it so that uh, so that i can be safe now in the end this is the most important part is there that why this play is important the importance of the play why this play is taught to you the reason because to deal with problem situation now the life is extremely complex you are the student uh, you are the students and you will be facing lot of problems all your life it is not that the life is bed of roses so how if any problem situation is there how you are going to deal it deal with it so those thing how you are going to uh, use your thinking wisely and uh, thinking wisely so that you can uh, do because it, it, this is a Uh, play be between a intruder and a uh, and a gerard for example that here uh, scuffling and those things are there but at the same time sometimes you have to have uh, in your mind how to protect yourself how to go further so a problem situation is there and how the uh, dramatist has solved it so this particular thing may not happen uh, in your life agreed it is may not happen in your life but these type of incidents uh, may happen so how you are going to be de dealing with it and here the most important part gerard was never nervous he when he was communicating he was communicating he was trying to convince the intruder and with proper application of mind 
so at the same time communication was there also application of mind was there also what i'm going to do next he was here if you are going to find the communication here he is trying to convince the intruder and intruder fell into the trap of gerard it was not there that uh, uh, it was not there that the intruder wanted to because the intruder never knew that gerard is going to behave like this one and he was thinking that he is going to take him to the car and they, he is going to kill him and he is going to throw throw his body to a place where nobody goes or in a forest something like that but gerard had in, in his mind because he was well versed with the scottish that i am going to take him side by side and then i am going to push him his gun is going to fell down is going to fall and and then i'm going to lock him in the cupboard and i'm going to uh, call the cops when you are going to read this particular play you are going to find that in the end uh, gerard calls the cops the police uh, uh, is there so how communication and application of mind goes side by side and it is applicable to you also because you are young you are students but you have to have uh, to know the proper mode of communication with full confidence so that you have to keep in uh, mind whenever uh, whenever you are communicating with uh, somebody or when there is a problem you should not be nervous thank you